Welcome to the beginning of a new month, in this case the beginning of April and the process of setting up a new journal for the month ahead. What I want to do in this video is talk about what might be happening as we go through April but also look at retrospectively and review what's happened in the preceding month of March. Having finished in February the Paper Chase journal that I used to get from their store in Leeds before their closure and all the stock being moved over to the Tesco supermarket group, in March I set up my journal here in this US letter size hardbound physical journal and I've been using that very successfully. It's been great to go through my first month of March using this journal and I set out last night some of the pages and the structures that I'll be using as we move through the month of April. So my role as a father and as a husband, my work with writing in its different formats and guises, my YouTube activity here on this very small channel and the financial and investment activity that underpins a lot of the creative content and the opportunity to produce that. I also find that if I'm going to be writing more, it helps me to read whilst I'm doing that. So for the month of April, I've allocated two books that I need to read. One is probably going to be a travelogue because I really enjoy those. And the other, perhaps a crime fiction story. Last month, I began to work on Medium in terms of committing a story or an article every day to their channel. And that's been great. Ironically, you'll see it later in the video, but I actually earned a few pennies in the six days of submissions that I put into Medium last month. So I'm going to continue that and the idea is that I'm going to go for one story or one article per day through the month of April. I've got a new book that I finished last month about journaling prompts and that will be ready and for sale via ConvertKit in the course of April. I've been sending out a weekly newsletter now on Fridays three times in March so that will continue as a monthly activity for the month of April. In terms of YouTube I've jotted some ideas down here about some videos that I want to do one of those being a book read and review video um, and some other ideas will come into the fray over the next few days that will give me the content hopefully for six videos in the course of April. My journal layout is a really simple process. I've got the days of the month from 1 to 30. I've highlighted when I've got a YouTube video coming out on a Tuesday. This two page spread is one of my absolute favorites. At the end of a month, you get to look at and to summarize what's happened over the course of the previous 30 or so days and make decisions and inform your future actions based on what you can see happened in the previous month. I split mine down into various activities with a simple line grid drawn down the page. I've got a focus on my writing activity, exercise for bike or walking activity, what I'm doing in terms of reading, and then a couple of columns for rental income and dividend income. I also, as a new idea this last month, tracked our social spending to see whether that is okay or too much or whether there are things that we can do and change and what the cost of just enjoying ourselves actually is. Also over here what I've done is I've looked at three books that I started over the course of the month. I picked them to begin the month thinking okay I'm going to read these three. I've actually only finished one of them, the Hugh Thompson book, Tequila Oil. Absolutely loved that book and that will become a book reading and review video in a few weeks time. Let's look more closely at the writing activity since that's what I spend most of my time doing. When I started March the idea was that I wanted to do an edit of the chapters in a book that I have largely finished but still isn't ready for publication. So here you can see that every couple of days I probably went to a coffee shop and I edited a chapter at a time and made fairly decent progress with that. I can see that I've done four chapters there and then wrote some closing words. Here I've started to get involved with ConvertKit in preparation for sending out a weekly newsletter which started last month 
and then I've got newsletters going out on a Friday again and just making progress with that. A completely new activity for the last week of March was writing a Medium article and uploading that as a story for each day at the end of the month so that I finished with six Medium articles and so that I also got three newsletters written and sent out to people over the course of the month. I was fascinated to look at the reading. I started with the John Harvey book, Cutting Edge, and then I started on the Hugh Thompson book, Tequila Oil. In the middle of the month, we traveled to a 60th wedding anniversary, and I took a new book with me, Blue Highways, by William Least Heat Moon, because I figured I'm gonna be on a coach for multiple hours for the journey there and back. And so I really got into that book and really enjoyed that greatly. And then at the end of the month, picked up on the tequila oil book and finished that. At the bottom of my tracking page, I get the information that I wanted when I started the month to think, what am I reading? What am I doing in terms of exercise? We don't get to track or to monitor what we don't measure. So this very simple daily process takes a couple of minutes to update each night. The reading one was really interesting. I actually managed to read on 17 days. The previous month I did scarcely any reading, but on this occasion I've read for 17 days and in that process I've looked at three books and I've completed one of them. Here's my comments on the Hugh Thompson book, Tequila Oil, about a youngster's journey across Mexico in an old Oldsmobile that he bought in Texas and drove down to Belize. I absolutely loved that book and I've said so here. Looking at rental income, we had a fairly standard month, one room short, but that will be resolved next month. And then in terms of dividends, a decent income and also some interest on a loan that I made. Tracking income is important. And what this shows me that from my content activity, which is very small, the Amazon income is two and a half times what YouTube generated. Skillshare is work I did a year ago, but that brought in as much this month as the YouTube activity, which takes a huge amount of time and effort every month, but which I enjoy and which I consider is growing over time. It's a little bit like having a back catalogue of royalty income. And that's the reason why I'm actually quite excited about what can be created from submitting content articles to Medium over the course of the next few months to see whether that Medium income will join and be as good as or greater than what comes in from Skillshare and from YouTube. Because it wouldn't take a lot of Medium income to grow this figure to more than £100 a month, which for me is a significant amount of money. It all gets reinvested back in dividends so that that very slowly, perhaps at four or five and sometimes 6% per year on some of the stocks that we have, that boosts our dividend income. So that's the content income, £71.64, but it's a fraction of what we receive in terms of monthly dividends. This is our largest single income and the one that we rely on most to cover all of our bills and to leave us with a small surplus. We don't have a high income, but this is enough for us to live on and to cover those bills. The monthly income on small loans that I've made is £186. That will be exactly the same for the next few months and then will increase with some other loans that start in a couple of months time. So that's been my month in review for March, done and dusted as of yesterday and a little look at what might be happening in the course of April, but using my journal as a way to capture intentional plans, potential activities that are undecided but could still happen, but also understanding what progress we might have made in a month's time when we look back on the month of April and say to ourselves, okay, this has happened in terms of writing or newsletters, bike activity or walking around the park, adding to investments, looking after tenants, all those different things coming together to give us a sense of direction and knowing that we're on track with what's important to us. Use whatever process you can, whether it's a hardbound format letter journal like this one, or one of my Laker A6 notebooks and bullet journals, which I use all the time. Have something that works for you. I still think the very best thing you can do is come up with some form of simple 
annotation of your values, the things that are important to you and which are your guideposts for moving through life on a daily basis. Have something like that to keep you on track, to give you a sense of focus for the month ahead and to track what you're doing so that however you do it, you know you're making progress based on an understanding of where you were this time last month as you move through the current month. So wherever you are and however you manage the things that are important to you, good luck with it. Remember, it's a daily process. You're in control and you get to understand and interpret the numbers that come out of the information that your journal gives to you. Have a great month knowing that you are in control of the information you record.